Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Beta Man Studios, and I wanted to go over how you can send your own custom class across the networking system. So I'm here in uh, beta version 2, and I'm going to make a mono behavior script, which is just going to be a class that I send all the variables across the network. I'm going to use a mono behavior because it'll be easy for me to come over here and look in the inspector and see the values change. So I'm going to create a C sharp script, and I will call it my class thing. And I'll open it up. No. Okay. So, we're going to go over uh, kind of how to set it up. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to be using beardedmanstudios.network. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of public variables so I can see them in the inspector. So public string ID equals my my class thing underscore zero one uh, this ID is a special uh, unique string I can set it in the editor I can generate it or whatever uh, that I want to do in here this is just so that it it's an optimization so that whenever the custom message comes across the network it is extremely fast in calling the method that you assign to it so we're not going to be serializing that, we're just going to be serializing the rest of the variables. So public and num equals zero, public bool bool equals false, public float money equals 3.1f, uh, public string first equals brent, public double big equals some small number. Uh, I'm just doing each data type so you can see all the data types. Uh, these, I'm not going to show you every single data type that can be serialized, just the major ones. Uh, vector2, I guess. V2 equals new vector2. I'll uh, put 5 and 13. Just copy and paste that a couple of times. And put a 3 and a 4 here. 3, 4. Uh, just change this number make up some random numbers okay so I'm going to send these guys across uh, the network all of these guys so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, setup function where I'm going to set up and register the method that's going to be uh, calling uh, whenever I get the network message so the message that I'm going to be calling is going to be uh, private void read from network networking player uh, sender and networking stream stream and inside of here all we're going to do is call a deserialize, deserialize function so private void deserialize byte or let's uh, not byte networking stream stream so deserialize stream and then in the setup uh, we're just going to call that method and set it up here so we can say networking dot primary socket dot add custom uh, data read event and I'm going to pass in the ID which is my unique identifier and then the read from network method and now I'm going to make an awake function, private void awake. Uh, if networking dot uh, primary socket is equal to null, that means we have not connected yet. So I'm going to listen for when we have connected and call setup when we do. Else we're going to call setup directly because we're already connected. All right. So I'm going to make it so that uh, when I press a key down on the update, it will serialize these variables uh, across the network. So I'm going to just use the spacebar key. So if input dot get key down uh, key code dot space, then I'm going to actually just change a bunch of these variables. Uh, I'm going to say num is equal to nine. Uh, bool is equal to true, money is equal to 100.53f, uh, first is equal to ferris, uh, 
big is equal to some large number. Uh, v2 is equal to vector 2.1 multiplied by 5. V3 is going to be equal to vector 3.1 multiplied by 9. And V4 is going to be equal to vector 4.1 multiplied by 2.331F. So uh, now I need to make a serialized function so I can take all these, variabli these variables and serialize them to bytes. Now, when you're serializing class, you can obviously select which variables you serialize or not. I'm just, in this case, serializing all of them. So I'm going to say private void, or not void, byte array serialize. And I'm going to just return object mapper. Object mapper is a class that's built into our, network, our networking system. Dot map bytes. And then here we could just pass in our arguments in sequential order the way that we want to. So I'm going to do num, bool, money, first, big, v2, v3, and v4. And so I'm going to say byte array uh, data is equal to serialize. And then I'm going to call networking.write custom. And I'm going to pass the ID. I'm going to pass in the socket or the networker. So networking.primary socket is what I'm working with. Uh, I'm going to pass in the data and I'm going to make it reliable UDP because I want the other side to get it no matter what. So the last thing we need to do is just deserialize. In the deserialization process you'll notice that uh, it'll be in the same exact order that we passed it in as. So I'm going to say num equals object mapper dot map and the first one was an int and I'm just gonna pass the stream into there so uh, I'm just basically going to go through and uh, I'm just gonna go through and do each one of these so if I just paste it a bunch of times I can come up here and just say bool money first big v2, v3, and v4. And of course I gotta use the appropriate data type on this side, so this is a bool, this is a float, this is a string, this is a double, this one is a vector 2, this one's a vector 3, and the last one's a vector 4. So with this, I've got everything I need to serialize it across the network, and I can actually start testing it now. Uh, so just to reiterate, because that was a lot, of, a lot of typing in there, we have a unique ID for this instance. I can randomly generate it or type it in. I have a bunch of variables of different data types. On awake, I'm checking to see if I'm connected uh, to the network. If I am connected, I'm going to call setup. If I'm not connected, I'm going to set my networking connected event where it waits until we're connected to set up. Uh, set up just uh, adds the method that's going to be called. And this method, when it's called, every time we get a message across the network, it's going to discover whether it's a custom message or not. If it's a custom message, it's then going to grab the ID of the custom message and it's going to call the method that is associated with that ID. So that's why we have the ID and the method here. So this will be called uh, really fast uh, because the lookup is incredibly fast. Uh, then we're going to deserialize any time we get a, this message across the network. And we're just going to map all the stuff we get across the network uh, to our variables. And of course, when we press spacebar, we're going to change the variables so that we can see them change in the inspector. And then we're going to get the serialize, which is just the byte data of all the variables that we passed in and we passed them in here sequential order and we do networking dot write custom and it's going to go ahead and write out uh, our custom data here our custom class across the network and we're choosing to do it on the primary socket you can use any networker you want there so with that I can build yes I'll replace it Oh, I probably shouldn't have built. I have to put the script on something. So I'm going to put it on this main camera. 
Uh, don't need that. I'm going to put my class here on this main camera so we can see all of this. Uh, vector, I forgot to change the data type up here to vector 3 and 4. On those, they should pop up the correct way now. Yeah, there we go. So now we can see them all. And now I can build it out. I'm going to go to the menu, save out this scene. Okay, I got my client here. I'm going to snap this to the side. I'm going to press play. And I'm going to start the server here so that I can look at the variables here. I'm going to start the client over here. And it is connected. That's why we see the transformations. So I'm going to select the camera and we'll watch when I press spacebar all these variables will change. So you see that when I press spacebar all the variables came across the network and changed uh, all of the class variables. So that's uh, quick and easy on how you can go through and set up your class. This code will be up on the website. Uh, so leave any questions that you may have. Let me know uh, how, to, how you may have something to make this better or you have a suggestion. Uh, we're, we, we're here to listen. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.